Welcome to the series Writing for Games. In this video, I'm going to discuss ambient dialogue. So as a review, we create dialogue in games for two purposes. First, communication between players. People are having conversations. They're discussing things. And we're also informing players at the same time. Keep in mind that when we write for video games, it's often like writing for the stage, plays or musicals. There's something happening on the stage, but there's always an audience observing things. They are learning things. In the case of games, it's players. They are learning things from the ongoing dialogue. So we always write it knowing that players are listening. We often see dialogue in dialog boxes. These generally appear on the bottom third of the screen, but sometimes other places. In this particular video, let's talk a little bit about ambient dialogue. Ambient dialogue takes its name from its usage. To provide a richer world, non-player characters have conversations a player character can experience. So often in generally modern games, although this happens in some older games as well, non-player characters, people, characters all in the world, will have conversations ongoing conversations in some cases, that a player character can happen by and overhear. This tends to happen more in open world and role-playing games, although it can occasionally appear in adventure games and things like that. But ambient dialogue takes its name because dialogue's happening ambiently. It's not started by the character, and it's not directed by the character. So it's not a bark or a grunt in that it's conveying information directly, nor is it interactive in that the player has control, it just kind of happens. Let's look at some examples. In Final Fantasy VII Rebirth from this year 2024, it uses ambient dialogue to convey the vibe or general theme of many locations. As the player character runs around, generally the character Cloud runs around in a particular location, ambient dialogue often appears on the left-hand side of the screen. In this particular example, there is the line, that's not a gun, it's a Mako cannon, which conveys information about the world, what's going on. Notice as well is, is the parade in and gives locations. So this is information that the player might pick up on, but is conversation happening in the world? It's ambient dialogue. Another example is in Fallout 3. Fallout 3 has multiple radio stations. One of them has a character, 3Dog, who gives observations about the world and events happening in it. So constantly the player's getting information about the world via 3Dog, the other radio in the game, but it's happened ambiently. So to review what I've been talking about, to create a richer world, dialogue happens ambiently. Characters talk to each other and the player can overhear them, sometimes literally overhear them in voice acted, often seeing the text in the case of Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, and learn information about the world. We're writing dialogue for two purposes. Characters are having conversations, but we're also simultaneously and always keeping in mind we're informing players. Just like for the stage, there's always an audience watching, and they're learning things. To give information to the players, we can choose to create ambient dialogue, dialogue happening in the world, to convey that extra information to players just so they have it and they might pick up on it and we can double up on it using other tools and other ways as well. Thanks for watching.